screens don't do it justice and onboards don't do it justice. Kind of walk through what it's like going down the corkscrew at pace, what your body's going through. I mean, the first time you go down the corkscrew is, uh, is something special that you never forget. I mean, I was 15 the first time I did it here when I came up for a Skip Barber three-day school. And the big thing is when you get up to the top, you don't actually see where you're going. Three of my teammates have never been here before, so when we did the track walk, I had to kind of point out which is the, the tree they use as a reference. So once you get to the apex of the top of the hill, you just point your car at the tree and it drops you at the bottom where you need to be on the apex. So it's one of those special moments that every driver remembers forever, uh, his first time down the corkscrew. And I think actually the most impressive part of that whole section is actually turn nine, the run from the corkscrew down nine, especially in, in pictures, video, on board, none of it does it justice. That corner nine and 10 are my favorites on the track, but uh, for sure it's, corkscrew is one of the most iconic, one of the most challenging when it comes to, to brake locking on the entry phase and, and all this stuff. So it's very easy to make a mistake there. It creates passing zones after the corner because it's easy to make a mistake into the corner. So it's a very unique part of the track and a unique corner in, in the world.